Is Embiid the most dominant player in the world at this very moment? Yes. <laughs> Easy? Easy. Just give him the MVP right now. Just give it to him. I don't care if he don't play 65 games. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> this yeah, he, hey, he can chill right now. Yeah, just give it to him. Go ahead and rest, big dog. I hate that rule. They need yeah. to take it out. But shit. It'd be a shame this man plays oh, no, four games. Ch- it's gonna be ch- see now. Now you got to make it a fucking decision now, right? This man lead the league average. What? Because it, it's only going up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His point average is only going up from here. Just say if he don't play the, game, the amount of games, do, do then what the fuck the league does? Do you, do you stand st- on it? They're going to stand on it and then change the rule next year. See, yeah, see, you fuck my team. They're going to stand on it. It's horrible. Get a lot of, get a lot of uh, bad press about it. Absolutely. Then change it. So you think Embiid yeah. would take one for the league, essentially? No, no I mean, he's still... To change no, the rule no, back. No, no, no. no. What, he can only miss, what, eight more games? Something like that? I think it was nine. Is it only miss nine more games? So it's not like he's, that, he's, he's still... F- far away. It's just yeah. hopefully nothing happens to him right. to the point where it's forced misses. I mean, I think, let's say he's 8, 10 games away and, and never want to wish it on anybody, but something does happen. Just get your ass out there, check in, yeah. wave yeah. to the fans, come sit on the bench, game count it. Yeah. We'll yeah. circumvent, get like you love to do, we'll circumvent whatever. We'll find a loophole in this shit, but there's no way you can watch what he's doing right now and not say that he's the favorite to win the MVP. No, I mean, shit, he's been the favorite for the last, what, damn shit, two months. Uh, he's been playing like it, um, unstoppable. And, you know, that, that what we were saying last year, that he has more in his tank. And if he played like Giannis and had Giannis in, in uh, engine, what would it look like? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so Embiid has missed 10 games this season. He can only, if he misses eight more. It will fall be below the minimum requirement. Oh, so he can only miss seven. Yeah, he, he can only miss seven to hit that 65-game threshold to be eligible for the postseason award. So they're going to, there's no way. Yeah. Ooh, that man. So, so he's missed 10 games because of whatever, injury, illness, whatever, right? He hasn't played in like 14 fourth quarters or some shit. It's like double-digit fourth quarters he hasn't played in. Mm-hmm. That's insane. If you're in B, though, are you like, oh, just let me cook for a little bit? No, last bit. night I would have went to Nick Nurse last night to start the fourth quarter. I know we got a rotation, but let me start the fourth. Yeah. Dog, he would have had 80 easily, though. And that's Listen, the- easily. Because there was no resistance out there. Yeah, at all. But Wimby was trying to do his, get his thing because he got two fouls early. He, now, now I can't really play the way I want to need to play him. Zach Collins was no fucking resistance whatsoever. Mm-hmm. If, I'm starting the fourth quarter from him. Yeah, he finished what? what he had 58, right? He had 58 after the third. Oh uh, no, nah, starting because this is a yeah. this is a this is a different night. Absolutely, for you. this is right. Not this normal. is like you would have been playing all 12 minutes just in case. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Right, because you can't duplicate this performance. This only comes around once or twice in your career, mm-hmm. and when it comes, capitalize on it. Right. Yeah, right? You shouldn't have to put him back in to get yeah. 70. Right. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. Like, he should have already yeah, started. Already and been, then be like, all right, yeah. that's enough. Easily, there was no resistance out there. The shots that he missed was tips. Mm. He just missed the motherfucker. Yeah. Like. And Nick Nurse loves playing dudes anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Is that one of those moments where... Well, it's shit. I, that, it was in hindsight. If you wish you'd look back, it, that's, those are the nights where you... But that's like, when you stuck in your... That's when you stuck as a coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You, you don't want to deviate from nothing. I and got this one. It's this it gonna win, but still, like it, you gotta you know, on them nights, like Gil was saying, like them special. Like when guys got it going in a quarter, yeah, I know you know was supposed to come out at the five minute mark. No, mm-hmm. fuck no. I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would. Like if I'm on the staff, if I'm on the team, mm-hmm. all right, especially if I'm on the team, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go up there and tell Joe, or I'm gonna tell whoever the coach is now, leave him in. Mm-hmm. Like, we'll take him out in a minute. Yeah. Like, you gotta, you, sometimes you gotta help people get out their own way. Yeah. Right. You gotta help them. In this situation, it was one of them, because he got it going. Easy. So, girl, I know yeah. you're usually on the MB side of things, doing the bucket getting, but when you see a teammate cooking like that, 
you going out of your way to make sure you keep feeding them so they can get as many points as possible? As yeah. long as it's not to the detriment. No, fuck the that. No, in this you don't situation. care about win or loss? No, no, no. They was going to fucking spur. I understand. I'm just... In the bigger scale. They was playing, and then we're talking about this particular game here. I'm watching it, and there's a few shots that dudes took in a few situations that I'm cussing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can hear fans booing, too, at certain points. <laughs> at the end of the game, yeah, no, and then who took the three? No, okay, yeah. Like, man, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, throw this, but during the third quarter, when he got it going, I'm watching this shit. I ain't going to call him because I'm, dude. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, if you don't slow your ass down and throw this boy the ball, man, yeah. that's when you ain't you ain't in tune to what's going on out here. You worried about your fucking self. Well. Nah, that's no. Nice. See, and unless you ain't got nobody like me on the team, because I'm gonna say something to you. Dude, are you serious with that shot, dog? Do you you not? Do you not see what's going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, you, look up. You don't yeah, see this. You don't see what the yeah, fuck you got. Please look up on the scoreboard, man. I wish you would. How often are you guys checking stat sheets in the game? Like, how cognizant of you are of your stats while you're playing the game? For the most part, when you're rolling, you're not really, yeah. you're not yeah. paying attention, but your teammates are. Everybody else is telling you. Yeah, everyone else okay. is. Just, you know you cooking, yeah, yeah. but you don't know what you got because you ain't looking up there. You know, like, I got this shit feel good right yeah, now. Yeah, a lot yeah. of yeah. right? They, they have, <laughs> like, the right shit. feel good. <laughs> this shit feel good right now. Like, I'm... Are y'all not keeping stats in your head though, or did it just get nah, that's, that's you? Nah, that's tough at that you point. You act yeah. like you can. No, it's some very guys. Hard to do yeah. that. You know, you got seven, eight. Some guys playoffs, like rebounds. Yeah, you counting? Wait, a lot <laughs> like rebounds. Me, like Ooh. some guys keeping track of their rebounds. Like rebounds are more easier to keep mm -hmm. track of. Like yeah. so I heard, no, I, I know track some guys. Threes. I'll keep track of. Threes. Makes misses, like you know. Yeah. And is it like if I make two threes, I can shoot two more? Exactly. Yeah, like if I if I hit a few, I'm like, all right, this next one going up for sure. But like and if like, you miss them too? No, I'm still going to shoot them, oh, but I'm okay, like, this one's going up for sure. And if you miss them too, like, yeah, I got to make two more to get to 50%. Or if I miss Always. Like, yeah, like, I like, yeah, I would love to stay over 50%, but like sometimes, okay, I've missed one or two. Let me go try and get fouled or let me go do something else. That and he had bad. 40 shots. It was supposed to be more than that. He had yeah. more. I'm just saying. Count all them damn free yeah. throws. How I many he took like 20 some free yeah. throws? Yeah, and a lot of them misses was tips. Like I'm like I'm watching the shit. And he just tipping the bitch, and he not going in. He tipping it and tipping it and tipping. Tip like, yeah, uh, he's, he's okay. You take away the free throws, he still had fifty. A lot so. of them offensive rebounds. A lot of them rebounds. A lot of them eighteen rebounds was offensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we talked about this before. Even Embiid uh, shooting twenty three free throws, making twenty one out of twenty three, impressive. A lot of guys at that size wouldn't be able to shoot like that. It might have cost themselves a seventy point game finish somewhere in the sixty range. Still impressive nonetheless, but. His ability to be a knockdown free throw shooter, I think, just adds to that because you can't foul him. Yeah, cause, and then that's why when they said that he's comparable to Shaq, like, no, because you, you can't scheme for him like you scheme for Shaq as far as, like, just hack Shaq because Embiid is going to knock those free throws down. Mm -hmm. so. so where does Embiid's performance rank amongst the best that you've seen? Like, on TV? Or just on during this. your life? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I was watching the Kobe game because we was playing Toronto the next night. Mm-hmm. So I'm scouting, doing homework. <laughs> like, I'm watching Toronto, like, shit, we play the motherfucker. I'm... Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's that moment. Like, you realizing. Like, I was there when Melo scored 33 in the quarter. I was there when he scored 60 in the garden. Seen a few good ones. Okay. Like, Steph had 54 in the guard, and I was mm -hmm. on the Nick team, man. Yeah, that <laughs> shit was impressive. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't but see But even you know you're on the opposing team, are you just, a, as a fan of the game, to see a guy cooking like that? Are you mad in those moments, or are you like, damn? It was only once I was opposed to yeah, when Steph was cooking. No shit, no nothing you can do. Like, I was yeah, witnessing this shit, like, talking to people on the bench, like, God damn. <laughs> so, good. Where, where does it be the performance rank among the best you've seen? Okay, Kobe 81. Booker 70. On the Celtics back in the day. Because those are jump shots. I will put Clay. Mm -hmm. I will I put Clay that. in front of Embiid. I mean, 11 dribbles? Five. Yeah, because, that you know, it's, it's buckets. Watch. You know, it's just pure yeah, bucket yeah, getting. Yeah, that's impressive. Right? Um, and then probably Embiid. And the amount of minutes he played, too. Yeah. Like, even, even the 70-something in 37 minutes, that's fucking... 
it's almost frustrating because it's like, damn, it could have been 80 in, in 44 minutes or whatever, you know, like yeah. y'all said, like, impressive to be able to do in 37 minutes, but... Who do you think, who, who do you think can break the 81? Who will be the player to do it? In this, in, really, in this in NBA? That's what I'm probably saying. Him? It, could be, it could be a few players, I think. Probably him. Embiid? Yeah. Do we, do we think we'll see somebody break that 81 point in our lifetime? Shit, this season. It's trend. I mean, but the, the amount of scoring that's going on, it feels like it's trending that way. No, we've had three. First we've had four. three seventy-point scores in the last thirteen months. You see, the guard, the guards is harder because you're you're spending more energy pushing down the court, driving, and all that. So, you know, the easiest without energy is probably Embiid, right? You know, because he can shoot the three also. Yeah. But he only he made, it was one for two. I know, but that's what I'm saying. But because he can shoot it, you know. <laughs> Which is crazy. And, yo, just, it, it was yeah. one for two. Yeah, so. So what, his lack of free, his lack of three-point shooting, he makes up for on the free throw line, I feel. Like, I feel like he plays a few more minutes. No, he could have had it. He could, that's what I'm saying, because that's five, it. six more free throws. It, it, it was. The way Cat was shooting threes last night, I thought that he was, he was mm -hmm. going to be Closer than that was cat. That's that's coach's fault right there. I mean, oh. 44 in the first half. I thought he was going. Yeah, we're 50, gonna talk about it in a second. But yeah. I'm just like, man, you see 50, that come through. It's like he what? had 58 in in the, the end of the third. Yes. And you know, yeah, yeah. different result. 